Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to switch pages or activities in Android Studio. So the first thing you want to do is open Android Studio and create a new project. We're going to create an empty views activity and we're going to call it switch pages demo. We're going to use Java API 27 and this can stay as is and we're going to press finish. So once your project is loaded, we're going to open up our layout and down here we're going to have an activity main.xml and this is what's going to pop up when you run your app we're going to change the text right here if you go right here we can go to our code view and we're going to change the text to this is the main page and yeah and now we're going to create a new activity for our second page by right clicking up here press new go to activity press empty views activity and we're going to call this second activity and activity second this all looks fine we're going to use java press finish and that will create our second activity and in our second activity we're going to add a text view here we're going to change this this is not really a part of the thing but it'll just make it a little easier we're going to say this is the second page okay guys i just changed a little bit over here so now it's in the center of the screen and now we're going to go back to our main activity which is going to be loaded when you load the app when you click on it and we're going to first go get our button so we're going to declare a button here private button button and you might have noticed we actually don't have a button yet so we're going to go back to our activity main.xml and add a button in so there we go there's our button we can just write click me for the text and i'm just going to leave the id as button and now we're going to go to our main activity and get this button down here with the find view by id r.id.button put your button id right here and we're done with that now we've got a reference to our button we can go to our next line and we can set an on click listener for it. So button dot set on click listener new on click listener, right? Like just like this. Now, in order to actually switch pages, we're gonna have to create something called an intent. So we're gonna write intent intent equals new intent. So we create a new intent object. And for the first parameter, we're gonna put our main activity dot this. And for our second one, which is gonna be the activity that we're going to, we're gonna write second activity dot class. And now all we have to do is just start our intent with start activity intent. And now if we run our code, you're gonna see that when we click the button, it's gonna send us to a second page. Now guys, you can see that we're on our first activity and it says this is the main page. And if we click this button up here, it's gonna send us to our second page. All right, adios.